Okay, so I am talking to you guys about managing your sleep and your nutrition in nursing school and for HESI. Uh, I kind of feel like this is a good lesson for me because I'm good at sleep, but I suck at eating healthy. So, um, anyways, the first thing we're going to talk about is sleep. So, just some fun facts. Most college students get six to nine hours of sleep. I couldn't find a statistic for nursing students, but I guarantee it's less. You get less than that. I was curious. Brooke, yeah, Heather, no. Okay. Well, I always did good, but I know in my cohort there are a lot of people who struggled. Um, not, not that though. It depends. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably around six, but if it's a super bad night, anyways. So, some consequences of poor sleep is it affects your health, your mood, it affects your GPA, your GPA will decline if you're not getting adequate sleep, you'll gain weight, no one wants that, um, you'll get sick more often, you'll have stress, so there's just all these negative consequences of not getting adequate sleep. So, some ways that you can, um, like my picture, I thought it was cute, <laughs> um, some ways that you guys can control that or try to help that is they recommend having a regular sleep-wake cycle. So like for you, Brooke, getting five sometimes and eight sometimes, it's not the best. Yeah. I know you can't always control it, um, but even on the weekends, they recommend that you try to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time just because it can throw you off if you don't. Um, exercise is huge for helping with sleep. I'm not the greatest at that, but it does help. Uh, avoid caffeine. Obviously, as nursing students, I feel like some of us need little pick-me-ups every now and then, but if you do, just don't shortly before you go to bed or you'll pay for it. Um, and then, so the goal is to try to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And I feel like the best way to do that is to just be good at time management. Don't procrastinate, don't get behind, um, and plan ahead kind of like what Tegan was saying. That will help decrease your stress and make sleeping more beneficial. Um, specifically for the night of the HESI, get the same amount of sleep that you usually get. If you get more than what you usually get or less, it could affect your performance. So just kind of be aware of what's normal for you and try to get that the night before. Um, so that's sleep. <laughs> and then on nutrition, real quick, I thought there were going to be more of you, but it's fine. So just like in little groups with the few of you that are here, just talk about ways that you personally try to eat healthy while in the nursing program. And if you don't personally do it, ways that you think you could, just for like 30 seconds, just chit chat. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pause you guys and I'll let you share your ideas now. So just shout them out, just ways that you eat healthy. <laughs> yeah. I bought a lunchbox so that I could Good. Like, bring food. Those are my recommendations. It makes a huge difference yeah. to bring your own home lunch rather than eating out all the time. Good. What else? Yeah. Um, I'm going along with that. We normally make our lunches the night before to put the down because I'm taking the morning lunch ten minutes away and it's like, oh, and I can't make lunch anymore. Now I have to make lunch like today. And so um, I just usually make the lunches before and sometimes like at the beginning we can make like a chicken or something. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the week we can bring it and make a salad or something. Not as beautiful as that, but <laughs> just something that's like more prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really bad at making lunches. The night before, because I'm always just like, I need to get more organized, probably. I'd be like crazy for it. But um, I always have like go to snacks that I can grab on quickly if I need to, like run in a, like leave in a rush. I buy like those like, granola bars, like cliff bars, or like a bag of carrots, or like different things like that that I can take with me to curb my appetite until I get and get home to make myself something. Yep. 
Awesome. Good. Yeah, those are great. A lot of you guys said some of the ones I came up with, Rachel, you mentioned the meal prep. I feel like meal prep is a scary word. Even to me, I'm like, I don't freaking know how to do that. But like she said, just cooking like extra chicken so that you have it throughout the rest of the week is meal prep. Um, also, something I discovered while I was in the nursing program is, have you guys ever heard of citrus chair? Um, it's like the bomb. They do it through Brolums, and the recipes are through a registered dietitian, and you get like, uh, you go sign up online through their website, and then you go to the class, the class is like two hours, they give you all the ingredients and like what you need to put in. Literally, like, Blake and I have done it three times, and we get 20 crock pot meals for 200 bucks, which sounds like a lot, but that lasts us forever. Like we'll have it. They give you like food with that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. like you go to the class and you assemble it, but then like oh, those meals are yours. That. And then you like take it home with you. It's and you the just, Like throw it into the insta pot or mm -hmm. pot. Yeah. And it's so great because for nursing students, with us not having time, it saves you time by just being able to throw it in a crock pot. And there are meals that are put together by a dietitian, so they're a heck of a lot healthier than what we were doing before, which was eating out a lot. So that was my little plug for that because that's been helpful for us. And then like you guys said, bring a lunch box and then. Water is also huge. Um, so that, I believe, oh, okay. So meals specifically on the day of the HESI. Make sure you guys don't skip breakfast. Eat a like balanced breakfast. You don't want it to be super high in sugars or carbs. So just try to get a little bit of everything, your grains, your protein, all that good stuff. Um, and then Tegan already kind of mentioned this. I personally never felt the need to take breaks, but if you do feel like you need to, like Tegan does, um, they recommend snacks that are quality carbohydrates, so that's like a whole wheat muffin, peanut butter, orange juice, fruits, veggies, just anything that's going to give you like that little burst of brain power. Um, yeah, that is that. And now 